With this guitar here, I wanted to do something a little bit special. I love super strats. Always have loved super strats. Everybody loves super strats. So aesthetically, I wanted it to have an arch top because that's something I really like. And uh, on a premium model like this with the nice binding and the thick maple cap, I think it really shows off the figure. Um, it's just a really nice aesthetic thing to have. Now, of course, this features my signature set, my signature bare knuckle pickup juggernaut set, uh, which I'm a huge fan of, of course. And um, that allows the guitar to go through a wide range of sounds. We have um, an ebony fretboard, which of course is a fan favorite, but I went for a 20 inch radius, which I'm a ver very big fan of the, the flat fretboards. And then uh, that's topped with stainless steel frets, jumbo frets, because um, I love big frets uh, and I hate it when they wear. Now on the side here, we have the only things I'm really looking at during a show, which is the side dots. But uh, thanks to unfortunate light shows, I can never see them. So these are luminlay, and these glow in the dark. So they don't emit light, they just reflect it. On the back here, we've got the hip shot locking tuners, which despite looking really, really cool with their open gears, are super functional, have probably the least amount of play out of any tuners. And that is uh, paired on the other end with the hip shot bridge, which is just stable, Easy to tour with, easy to adjust, you just have a screwdriver, you know. And if you ever need to adjust the saddles, which is never, that has its own little tool. And then the other point of adjustment, which has always been a pain, but luckily is fixed on this guitar, is the truss rod adjustment right there, which any hard device that can fit into the holes can just adjust that right there, and you could literally do that in between songs. Other than that, we have a nice uh, thin but not too thin shreddy neck and a wonderful carve on the back here which fits your hand. I call it a handshake heel because that's what it feels like. This carve is extended. It's cut very deep here so that uh, no matter how big your hands are they can sort of fit in there and uh, the actual horn will never get in the way of that. As far as switching goes I really like split sounds and I like humbucker sounds so we have the best of both here. So one, three and five are just what you'd expect full bridge humbucker, middle humbuckers, uh, middle is both humbuckers rather, and just the neck, but position two is split inner coils, which gives you that really glassy, uh, pristine uh, tone, especially on cleans. And four, the split outer, which gives you kind of like a bassier and almost chimier kind of tone, which I really like. Um, so those are great for like, mid-gain or clean kind of sounds that you really want to have cut through the mix. Um, and finally, you know, I'm not really uh, the, the biggest fan of tone knobs, so uh, what I did was I actually have it so it only activates when you pull up on this pot right here. Um, and otherwise it actually just bypasses it. So you can lock it in at whatever setting you want and if you need to just recall it, just lift it up and you have your tone knob setting. And otherwise it's bypassed, so it just goes straight to the volume and to the pickups, which is kind of nice. You got a maple neck, bolt-on neck right here, because bolt-on is the only way to go. And this neck is maple because it's super durable. You know, it's not fancy. You can go with all sorts of fancy woods. But the truth is, with the amount of touring that we do, especially international touring, which is extremely unforgiving on a guitar, you need to go with stability and nothing beats a good, solid, hard rock maple neck like that. Uh, and for the body wood, on this particular model, we have alder, which is pairing very nicely with the uh, quilt maple top. Uh, and on the uh, non-premium top models, we have uh, an entirely basswood body, which is one of my favorite tone woods uh, to have on a guitar, especially for my style of music. And I wanted this guitar to be very pointy. That was very important that it be pointy, because pointy guitars are faster. <laughs> So this finish is the Amber Tiger Eye on a quilt top, as you can see, and um, this is sort of a, a more traditional f finish, if you will, because, you know, it's one of those sort of crowd pleasers. You see a guitar with this kind of top and, man, it, it just, it's just striking. 
uh, but in a way that I feel like won't throw a lot of maybe even more old school people off. It's a very classic sort of look. Um, and it really suits this, uh, this design very nicely, um, especially with the, the black hardware and pickups. I think it's a nice contrast. Um, but we have more adventurous colors as well. This is the Bulb Edition. This is for all the wonderful hardcore fanboys out there who want to have uh, my band's logo on it and the um, etched logo on the pickups right there, a juggernaut logo there. So this is a more adventurous color. This one's kind of based off of a BMW blue that I love called uh, Laguna Seca Blue. It has uh, this matte finish with a slight bit of pearlescence or shininess to it, which I think really adds a lot, you know, makes a uh, finish move a little bit in the light. And this is probably uh, philosophically the opposite of that brown one in that this is exactly self-indulgence and nothing else and not really about crowd pleasing but I just needed to have a very 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 blue guitar. This is the premium top model that is more indulgent than the crowd pleaser but I actually think that this one will probably please a lot of people because it's very elegant I think in the choices of blue uh, and it suits the quilt top wonderfully as well. So this one is a uh, matte black with a very, very slight pearlescence to it as well. Um, I wanted to have something that was a bit more uh, standard and for your more metal fare out there. Um, again, I think this might be more of a uh, general crowd pleaser in the uh, metal crowd and especially uh, with the, the black pickups on the regular model. Um, it'll have this sort of stealth bomber look to it, which I'm a very big fan of. So uh, that was the, the kind of idea with this, and I just think this looks so cool. It's very understated, but uh, it's like kind of flashy in a way. Um, I think this will look really awesome on stage. I can't wait to see this under stage lights.